So, I got a big announcement in case you haven't heard already. I've been working with Ninza and they have given me a coupon for 60% off. So anyone watching this can go in the description, click on the link and use code MONKEYMAN60 and get 60% off all the favorite indicators that I'm using in all of my videos. This video review is a video that I made for Ninza on their multi overbought, oversold, overlap indicator. So I'm going to post it on this channel too and give everyone an opportunity to get some of these indicators at an amazing price. So if you've been thinking about it, good time to check it out. I'm not sure exactly how long the sale is going on, but I imagine till the end of the year at least. So this is one of my favorite reversal indicators, the multi-oscillator overbought, oversold overlap from Ninza. I've got these three oscillators on the chart just as example to show you how this is calculating. Basically when all three oscillators are in oversold or overbought territory, it will start to recognize that and then when you get a cross back above the threshold, it'll print one of these signals. A reversal signal and you can enable the background as well as a early detection on the chart so now we have this background printing when all three are over sold or overbought and you'll get this little dot on the chart a little early warning sign I usually leave both of these off I'm only interested in seeing the arrows so I can use this indicator as part of my other system without over cluttering the charts so I don't need to have all these oscillators on my chart. I'm just going to take these off here. I'm also going to squish down the panel here. So now I've just got the arrows, just the reversal signals. And I'm going to show you the price action from today, December 5th, Tuesday. I'll show you what this indicator looks on a variety of different charts and time frames. This is the 500 volume chart. And these are all going to be NQ charts. This is this afternoon. You can see we're catching some nice moves right after these signals. Some of these are a little bit delayed, but they give you a really good idea of when the market's getting stretched. As always, I'm not just using this one particular indicator to generate definitive buy and sell signals that I will rely on. I'm using it as part of a bigger system. So you might want to incorporate a trend indicator or something else to give you some extra confirmation. Scroll back to earlier this morning. Here's right before the New York Open, 9.26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We get a nice signal up to this next little high up here. That's 30 point move right there. Seven minutes in, we get a nice short signal, about 25 points, another 20 points right there. This signal lags a little bit, but it comes back down. Later on at 10.20, we get a short signal. Then we get a double long signal right before 10.30. We get a really strong move up after these two reversal signals. Here's a 2,000 tick chart. Uh, this is this afternoon. 11.20, we had a nice long signal. 10 o'clock, we had a pretty decent short signal. Yesterday afternoon, had a nice move down after that short signal. Here's a 377 tick chart. You can see it's catching some pretty nice moves here in the afternoon. Here's a one minute chart from today, a little bit before one. You know, this is a 50 point move right there. Get kind of chopped up on this long signal. You can see how this indicator is really able to show you pretty well when the market's overstretched. Here's a five minute chart. We only had one signal today. It was a great signal. 11.10 ended up going down over 100 points. Yesterday, London Open had a nice little move up after the signal. Here's a 30 second chart uh, right before the New York Open. Three different bullish signals. We had a nice run up, a little blip down. There's 10.47, 11.20. Here's another one right before noon. Here's a 24 Rinko chart. Catching a few nice moves today. Here's a 30 range chart. A couple of nice signals right before noon. Another signal right before one. 
So yeah, just a ton of great signals across pretty much every chart type and time frame that you can imagine. And these settings are all customizable. I can change the threshold high and low for each oscillator. I can also add a smoothing to each oscillator. A lot of different things you can play around with. Overall, it's just a really great reversal indicator to have in your toolbox. Highly recommend it.